Hi, my name's Natalie. Welcome to Intagious. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way about backcombing or teasing. Backcombing is a super useful tool in many vintage and modern hairstyles and a little bit goes a long way. It can really, really make a difference and it doesn't necessarily have to damage your hair if you do it properly. Um, I will do a video on how to get rid of it. It's very quick and simple. Basically, you just brush it out. Um, soon but if you've put it in correctly then brushing it out will be just no problem whatsoever I promise don't be fooled into thinking that you need any special equipment to back comb your hair you can use a special back combing brush I bought this one from Sally's you can see the bristles are very bristly <laughs> and close together yet the brush is slender this means you don't pick up any sections of hair that you don't want to when you're doing your style so ideally you could use one of these however you can use a big old paddle brush as long as you use the side of the paddle brush and try to keep the main body of it away from your hair you shouldn't get into any trouble it's not ideal but you can use this you can use a smaller a round brush <clears throat> It is preferable not to use a brush with bobbles on the top because they can just get a bit tangled up and not allow you to do your little C-shaped flick that I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Or you can use a, excuse me, rat tail comb. Handily, whilst doing this style, I snipped it in two. Um, these are also fine for smoothing and for back combing. But really anything, sometimes I use my fingers, it's all fine. Yeah, don't be fooled into thinking you need specialist equipment because you don't. You can do it without spray, but with spray will give you a better hold and last longer and just be better all round. I really like um, Elnet hairspray, but I've had this massive tin of Tresme hair hairspray for ages now. God, it's lost forever. Um, so that's a good thing, I guess. It is okay, it doesn't brush out properly, but I've been using this. Luckily it's running out soon, I'm gonna get a new one. Um, yeah, but any old hairspray, I guess, will also do. And on it, it's really good, because you can brush it out. Um, yes, I think that's it, so enjoy the video. You're going to need to section your hair when you back comb, and I usually use one to one and a half inches, roundabout, and relatively thin sections of hair. Now you'll find that you'll be back combing for what seems like forever, but it's worth it. Your, your end style will thank you, you just persevere. You're going to be um, using downward strokes in a C-shaped motion with your comb. And I really highly suggest doing the same amount of strokes every section of hair. So choose eight, 10 or 12 and do this on every section. This will give you a really good even style. Can you see? That's great, isn't it? It's already sticking up in the air about four inches. This is the motion you need to create and this gives just the right amount of volume and rigidity to your root back comb. I'm showing you in close up here now, I'm over directing my hair forwards towards my face in this clip and I, I don't suggest you do that at all when you're trying to go for a bouffant. Generally when you back comb you need to direct the hair in the direction you want it to go, not in the opposite direction but I couldn't really see the camera but here you can see the C shape motion that I'm making, just pulling the hair, separating it from each other just slightly but still keeping it nice and dense. This really is great for, for many styles, this type of brushing. You can also do it with a rat tail comb. It's a slightly more vertical motion, but fundamentally the same. It gives a super dense root lift using a rat tail comb, I find, especially if you use spray beforehand. See, I break the comb. Back brushing is really useful when you have a style where you've got to fill up an awful lot of room with hair. Um, think of styles worn by Adele, big poofy 1960s styles. You take the hair from near the end and you flick the hair towards the root and up and it just gives you an awful lot of volume with great amounts of air between each hair. It's very fluffy back brushing. You can see it's very different to the very rigid root back comb. Now when you finish your back combing, you might find that you feel a bit like cat weasel because you'll have these sections of clumped up matted hair. Um, and I wouldn't go straight in there with a smoothing brush, if, especially if you've started from your crown or below, you're gonna have just a hell of a lot of clumped up hair back there and that's not gonna be comfortable or beneficial to your style as much as spreading the back combing evenly out will be. Um, and so first of all, I'd go in with my fingers just ever so gently teasing the back combing just out a little just merging the sections together not an awful lot because you don't want to take the volume out but just ever so gently 
stretching the back combing sections together so they become a little bit more even and equal. You'll find your star will be a nice more even um, voluminous star because of this and your roundness will be less less wonky, you'll have a nice smooth, um, smooth uniform shape to your style more than if it was clumped up. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect first time, everything takes practice but it's definitely going to help you. Um, so once you've done that you can see already that's starting to look a little bit smoother. You can take your smoothing brush. Now, to be honest, if you haven't got a smoothing brush, don't worry about it. You can use a normal brush, a paddle brush, a bristle brush, um, even a comb. <coughs> May I say, if you are using a comb like this one, look, I snapped the end off just now. Um, do not dig the prongs or the tines, whatever you call them on a comb, I don't know into the hair you can use it at an angle to just smooth the hair backwards so you're not when you're smoothing out you're not going to stick it in like that because that's just going to ruin all of your back combing you're going to have it at a slight angle and smooth it across like that it's just going to take the very top layers of hair and brush them into the shape that you want them to be in stick them in like that you're going to tug all your back combing out which you do not want so you're having it not like that but like that and you're smoothing gently backwards. It's just catching the very top hairs, not getting rid of any of the volume, but allowing to style your hair. Now you can go in again with your hairspray to um, help you smooth out. It's very gently. Wow, I got some big hair. Now, if you do find when you're styling that you've got an area that doesn't seem to be as high or as poofy as you'd like it to be, just use the end of your tail comb to lift it up. You just need to encourage all that lovely sprayed hair that's at the bottom there to lift up and do what you want it to. I'm just going to wear my hair in a simple ponytail today but you can see just that little bit of back combing will make such a difference to the final style and it just doesn't look like a, a boring old ponytail. It's... Do be careful when you're tying your hair band when you pull it tight that you're not pulling from the top of the hair band. Always pull from the sides and the bottom therefore uh, reducing the chance of eliminating your hard work. And again, I'm just inserting the comb and pulling any back combing up that I might have got rid of. Just need my nice little hair flower. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope that you liked the video. If you're still scared of backcombing your hair for whatever reason, then please see the videos that I have linked somewhere around my face, um, where I show you how to create a nice bouffant vintage hairstyle without the need for teasing and backcombing your hair. So if for whatever reason you don't want to backcomb your hair, please have a look there for some inspiration. Um, if you do tease your hair and back comb your hair, why don't you comment in the section down below and we can have a little chat about what works best, what you like, what hairspray you use, what brushes you use. Let's share the love. Um, don't forget to email me at oakoscar100 at hotmail.co.uk. Head over to my channel page, all my links are there. I've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and my emails over there. Um, I love to hear from you. I love to see your photos uploaded onto my Facebook page. I carry on doing that. It's just wonderful. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm off to do my ice bucket challenge. <sighs> well, I shall be nominating some of you, so beware. Take care. Love you loads. Bye bye.